In this video, I will be showing you how I do a deep treatment on my hair. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mika. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome. And I hope you all are doing fabulous. This is how my hair is looking before I do my deep treatment. And I had my hair in a bun for about three days because I did not want to comb my hair. But not to worry, it was not tight. And at night, I just tie it with a silk tie head to keep it nice and smooth. So this is exactly how it's looking on the day of doing my deep treatments. Of course, it's going to need all the care. Now I'm using a white tooth comb to detangle my hair and I try to comb it from the ends towards the root. So even though my hair was catched in a little bun, it's still looking fabulous. And that is the amount of hair that came out. To get my hair nice and clean, I'll be using the Motion Sulfate Free Moisturizing Lavishing Shampoo. Whenever I'm doing my deep treatment, I want to ensure that my scalp and my hair is nice and clean. Once the shampoo is rinsed from my hair, I towel blot my hair. And as you can see, I'm not using a towel to rub onto my hair. All I'm doing is squeezing to get excess water out. Next, I section my hair in four for control. This will make it easier for me to apply the deep condition treatment. I will be using the Originals Olive Oil Deep Conditioner and this conditioner is really a budget friendly conditioner and I will be using 3 teaspoon full along with 1 teaspoon of my oil mix and then I will mix it together until it's nice and creamy and smooth. To apply the deep condition treatment to my hair, I'll be using my fingers to part and also to apply it to my hair. I'll be applying it from the root all the way to the ends. Of course, we want to ensure that our ends are taken care of, especially if we wear our hair out a lot. We want to make sure that we are treating that section of our hair very well. At first, when I started using this product, I did not like it because it left a coating on my hair. But after using it for a while now, I realized that my hair has really benefited from this product. So though it's a budget friendly product, it really working for me. Actually, before I started using this product, my hair would not hold curls. So for example, if I roller set my hair and use small rollers, then there would be no curl at once I brush my hair out. But since I've been using this product, I noticed that my hair is actually holding the curl. What I've done so far is to add the oil to the mixture and since I've been doing that, I realize that it is not leaving a coating on my hair. So if you desire to use this product, I would suggest adding those oils in the mix so that it does not leave a coating on your hair. I only use this product once per month to do my deep conditioning treatment. Other than that, I do my weekly shampoo and conditioner. Let me know in the comment section how often you do your deep treatment and what product you are currently using and the benefit that you are having. Perhaps your comment could be beneficial to someone else. Once I've completed applying the product to the all the four sections, I just put them up and then I'll be covering it with a plastic cap or a steam cap for 10 minutes. I will not be going under the dryer. As soon as the time is up, I remove the plastic cap and rinse my hair thoroughly. This is the first maintenance product that I'll be applying to my hair. It is the Motions Active Moisture Leave-In Detangler and it does make my hair very soft. So I'll be spraying it all over my hair Once I've finished spraying it into my hair, I gently use my hand and massage it in. The second maintenance product that I'll be adding to my hair is the Nairobi Foaming Lotion. And I love this foaming lotion because it does not make my hair stiff. 
even if you were to add a generous amount it does not make your hair feel stiff or dry so i really like that about it so what i did i just put it into my hand and then i take a little at a time and apply it all over the hair And the last maintenance product that I'll be adding to my hair is the Motion Daily Oil Moisturizer. And the reason for adding this to my hair is to prevent frizz. As I am going to be hair drying my hair today. I won't be roller setting my hair. I'm going to leave my hair out and let nature dry it. I like this product because it does not weigh down my hair. Of course, if I was doing a roller set, I would not had that amount but as you know when we hair dry our hair it tends to be a lot drier and a lot frizzier so to combat the frizz this is a great product to use if it is that you are hair drying your hair however if it was roller setting then i would not use that much once i've applied all the maintenance product to my hair i am just using a large tooth comb to comb the hair all the way back and then i'll be covering it with a scarf the reason for using a scarf is to maintain the hair in a straight form, especially the front section. While tying it at the back, you want to make sure that you're not tying any of your hair in it. So just ensure that all the hair is out of the way and you're really not tying it up. If you hair dry your hair, let me know in the comment section how many hours your hair takes to dry. My hair usually takes anywhere from 3 to 4 hours to fully dry. And if it is not a sunny day, maybe even longer. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give the video a like. And if you have not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And don't be afraid to share my videos with others who you think would benefit from my videos so i'll see you in the next one bye bye